So for this one, you have all the tools that you need to solve it by yourself. So I will just walk through it for completeness so that you have an, uh, uh, an overview on how it works and it's just like a process uh, that you need to familiarize yourself with. So first I will have my debugger on and then I do file to check which kind of binary I have. So here it's again an elf, 32-bit binary. I do the strings and this time it's a pretty similar structure as you can see. Uh, I also have the Yoli crack me level here, uh, string here, but I have also like two strings that are not even readable. And then I again have the whole glibc uh, import. So let's set up the debugger for the crack me number three and I will disassemble the main. This time we can see that the uh, main function is pretty similar to, to the last one again. You have like two print apps and then I, you have a scan app. So we scroll down looking for the compare, but this time there is no compare. What we can see here is a call to a function named test. So let's disassemble the test function and see what it's doing. So the test function has a compare. And if the compare matches with the string that they are looking for, we are going to jump to the plus 28. Is it right? Yes. So let's check what it's in there. So there we have the second weird string that we saw on the list from the strings. So we don't understand completely what this binary is doing, but the structure is similar. So let's try to solve it with anger anyway. We import anger, we start a project, this time with the binary crack me number three. And as you remember here, we just create this simulation and we are going to run the same way we run the one before. So we are going to run until we find um, a branching point. And for finding branching points, we know we need to check that the length of all the possible uh, paths that we have that are active are more than one. Anger does its magic and finds two active um, paths. So we are going to do the same and just look in which kind of input led us to or would lead us to each of the possible paths and again we have like a, a int and some kind of weird uh, bigger int. So we store the first one and test and that's already the right one. 